Hi everybody, uh, another quick video on my Shelly EM uh, energy monitor. So I'm logged into it here uh, on its web page on my local area network. Uh, and obviously here you can see the two channels, uh, which is how much power I'm consuming in real time. So I wanted to show you how you can also get these power consumption figures via a HTTP request. So you might need that if you're writing a script and you want to grab that data uh, into that script. You could do that uh, by a HTTP request. So I thought I'd just show you um, how you do that. So this is the format. So for my Shelly, it's got two channels. Um, interestingly enough, channel one is defined as channel zero and uh, channel, uh, the next channel one is, uh, the second channel is channel one. So a little bit confusing, uh, but that's the format they use. This is the uh, format of the HTTP request that you'd need to go to, go through. So HTTP and then the IP address uh, of the uh, Shelly device itself. So just switching back on mine, you can see at the top, that's 192.168.1.247. And then after that, you want to enter the uh, command E meter and then the channel. So I want to look at the first channel. So that's channel zero. And then it's just EM and underscore data. So I've just typed that out uh, for my particular Shelly EM. Yours would only differ by the IP address. So if I copy that and then I'll open up a browser. Um, so there quickly. So in the browser, if I now paste uh, that HTTP request and press enter, you can see it returns an array up here. So you can see the power at that point in time was 1,145, or oh, sorry, yeah, 1,145 watts. Uh, and you've also got information there on the uh, voltage. So mine's a 240 volt supply, so that's 230. And then you've also got the total amount of power uh, consumed that's been stored uh, in the Shelly itself. So, uh, you know, it's quite easy to do. And then if you want to get the other channel, uh, so I would just go back to, um, let's go back to the, web page and then I'll get that for the second channel which is channel one so I just need to change that variable press copy and go back and then paste that into the URL into the browser and then you can see here power is 22 watts and then if you look over here on the right on the web interface it confirms it as 22 watts again it shows you the voltage uh, and it also shows you the total amount of power um, that's been uh, used and stored in the Shelly EM. So it's very simple to do. It just turns a num returns a number of variables into an array. So if you're writing a script, you could then capture and incorporate uh, that uh, array into your script and then just use various elements, uh, for example, the power variable uh, in the script that you're writing. Anyway, so yeah, just a very quick video today, but I thought I'd just show you that you can read the power uh, via a HTTP request uh, rather than visiting the uh, individual LAN page of the Shelly itself. Hope you found that useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and uh, maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.